question that has been asked for ages. How does one find their sound? It's not a question easily answered. Even I, the master of this channel and of nothing else, uh, have been trying to do that. One thing us musicians do is we just grab one artist and we don't let go because we stand them so hard. In my case, that would be the strokes. I'm very hyper aware of how I need, I need to sort of separate myself from that. It's difficult because that's just where my brain goes immediately. But I've made up an exercise uh, to help us get there, you know. So if you're obsessed with one artist and you're just doing everything that they do, try doing what I'm going to do now. So what I thought of was that if we took different elements from each from like a, a few artists that I like, we can come up with something that sounds different enough. I did uh, four things. I started with some Arctic Monkeys type drums. And for this exercise, I elected to just use the beat from Secret Door, the verse beat going into the chorus type thing, though it's at a different BPM. But it's a beat I've never used before, so I thought that I would go ahead and do that. There's the drum beat. After that, I decided to try and do a Tame Impala type of bass line. It's not exactly like trying to make a Tame Impala type, type bass line even, you know? It's just when you're doing your thing, have that in your mind as a sort of goalpost you want to get to. Or just some sort of, you know, you want him to sort of, you want Kevin to possess you in some way. And uh, even if the bass line doesn't come out being that impressive, like this one, it will at least be sort of different from what you usually do. And that's all we're trying to do. We're not trying to do something good even. This is an exercise in just doing something different. So there's the bass line. And of course, you don't have to throw away the one thing you've been copying for your entire life because there's a reason you do it so much. It's because you like it a lot and you should really make what you want to hear. Don't make what you think others want to hear. Make the music that you want to listen to. And that's what I try to do. So I took one thing from The Strokes that I think is my favorite thing and it's the way the guitars are played. They always coalesce into a big wall of sound. That's how I think of it anyway. So I went along that route. Uh, during the verse of this little thing, I did the automatic stop, like, bit it, bit it, bit it. That thing, that happens. While the other guitar just downstrokes something. And, uh, you know, I would never... That's one line I refuse to cross. Because I feel like that's just a little too too strokesy. Uh, but you know, for this exercise, you know, maybe you don't do that, and you would be more able to get away with it than me. So yeah, those are the three parts. Also, this verse and chorus uh, has the chord progression of Everlong. The verse is the verse chord progression and the chorus is the chorus chord progression.
those are all the parts. And we can pick it apart to see what works and what doesn't, at least in your own opinion, my own opinion. Since I'm the one talking, we're going to go with my opinion. So first of all, I think each part sounds okay by itself. Uh, the drums and the bass in the verse sound pretty good together, how the drum is just rolling away while the bass grooves. Yeah, verse is good in that respect. However, when we get to the chorus, drums go to a more conventional beat, while the bass does a sort of thing. It just sounds sort of weird and marchy and a little too happy. Let's think of what I would do instead. What I would do in the normal case is probably just something that really follows the guitar. I don't know, that's just what I naturally would do. Maybe what the Strokes do also, they are not a monolith music-wise. But yeah, maybe I would, instead of doing a weird bouncy marchy thing, I would just do what actually comes naturally to me. Or I could pick from another band, like Cage the Elephant, or Sonic Youth, or Black Flag, I don't know. Anything you want. Guitars in the verse. I think the verse overall works pretty well. The rhythm guitar that's just doing the downstroking sort of keeps the rhythm in check with the drums. It is not going too far. It is not in our face trying to be a center of attention like the bass is during the verse. Uh, the simplicity of the rhythm guitar helps the bass stand out. While the lead-ish guitar is doing the bit it bit it bit it uh, helps it stand out a little more but again it's falling along with the beat allowing the bass to continue to stand out I think it works there when the chorus comes it gets a little more complicated because I want this big wall of sound thing to happen with the guitars, uh, I think the focus should be on the explosion, the release of all this tension, We've, if you would call it tension. Uh, but yes, it is tension. Uh, the tension that we've built up during the verse, we want it all to release, and we want the focus to be on this sort of release, everything coalescing into this lovely river. Of sound but the bass continues to try to stand out which takes away from the overall musical explosion um, so I think the bass would need to be changed I think the drum beat, it's a, it's a little too kick, snare, kick, snare. It would need a little more going on in either the cymbal department or a kick drum doing a different thing to drive it forward more. And then maybe we would actually get that big release that I'm looking for. Uh, yeah, that's just me brainstorming how I could make this verse and chorus better. Uh, I'm sure there's stuff I could do to the verse, but as it stands right now, I think it would be good a good starting point. The chorus would definitely need some work, but you know, that's how we can progressively criticize what we're doing to come out with something that that works to our ears. And it's it's most important that it works to your ear. If you think it sounds good, if you get a second opinion, and they think that something that you think sounds good doesn't sound good, screw them. It's your song. Your opinion should matter the most. That is just one way I think uh, viewers like you and people like me could try to figure out what their sound is instead of just doing the same thing another band does. 
you know, you can add certain things from different bands that you like, different certain aspects of other bands that you like. You can mix them all into one, see what work, see what things work with each other, see which things don't work with each other, and uh, carry on from there. Uh, and then it allows you to use your instincts, which is uh, the most important part of making the sound yours. Yeah. Anyway, this is a pretty rambly video. I hope you learned something. I hope I learned something. And safe travels.